Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in plasticity. Uh, my name is Mike and today we are going to model a gear, right? Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start with the outer diameter and we're going to start with the center circle and you can use shift C or just click here. And if you don't see it, left click and hold and then you will see it up here. So we're going to click on that. We're going to pull that out. And if you are working off exact measurements, because let's say you're working off of a drawing or whatnot, instead of trying to hit the right number here, what you can do is while you're in this phase, hit the tab key and you can go in and type in the exact number, right? So for example, six and hit enter. There you go. Now we're going to jump to our top view here and we're going to start working on the teeth of our gear. So I'm going to grab a center rectangle. I'm going to click and pull that out until I'm happy with the overall position and size. And here again, you can go in and click and uh, alter the exact measurements if you like, right? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go and hit one on the keyboard or click up here. We're going to grab these two. We're going to hit B for chamfer, bevel, fillet, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do this. Then we're going to click on OK. I'm going to go back in here, grab these, hit S for scale. Push them in like so, and we're ready to go. OK, cool. Now, I want these to be replicated around the model, of course. So we're going to select this. We're going to go down here to the radial array tool. Click on it. Move to our center point. And right now it's set to 21 and uh, maybe I can do 22. We'll see what that will look like. And I think that's good, right? So we're going to click on that. There we go. All good. Okay. And next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this around. I'm going to uh, go to face mode and I'm going to alt click on one of the faces, which will select all of them. Then I'm going to go and push this up until we got something looking like this. And again, you can uh, alter the height if you want. You can go to 0 0.4, hit enter, and there you have it. Click on OK. We don't need to see all of these faces anymore. So I'm going to click here once. I'm going to control shift click on the bottom one. And then I'm going to go and click on hide. So they're all hidden. All right, that looks good so far. Next up, we're gonna uh, go and grab a cylinder and we're gonna snap that to the center right here, right there, we're gonna pull that out. And again, you can go and enter the exact measurement if you want, let's do 1.5, right? And then I can pull that up or pull that down. I'm gonna pull that down to create a hole and click, and click on okay. So there's our hole. And we're going to do something similar with a cube. So we're going to grab this cube. Let me jump to the top view and let's create that cube. And I want it to be a center cube. So let's hit C. There you go. Make that nice and small. Click right there. And then we're going to go and push that down and click on OK. So now we have that now and then uh, to finish this up, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, go to edge mode. We're going to grab all of them. We're going to hit a B for a bevel and we're going to give it a small bevel. Now this can be a bit taxing on your system, but nothing too fancy. Just something like that. Right. OK, cool. And that's how I uh, create a gear, right? So if you have any questions, let me know. If you are enjoying this series, do me a favor and consider subscribing, okay? That would mean the world to me. That's why I make these videos for you guys, right? Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.